M0 FXB, let's add our dual hotspot to our DM1701A model I have here. The cable is connected to my PC, okay? And this is the hotspot, and I will provide a link for the hotspot in the description. It's about £70, and it's a duplex or dual hotspot. It has two antennas. You can listen to two talk groups at the same time. So, open GD77 firmware on the right, software on the right, Pistar on the left. Read your device in the normal way. Just go program, and then read. That's how I like to do it. When you load the programming software, it, in, it does install the drivers that you need for this radio. And remember, it will not work with a Bofeng or a TYT cable. You need to get the one for the DM1701. It's not expensive, but, you know, get when you order the radio, get the programming cable. So this code plug came preloaded. If anything, it's got too much on it. I will firstly open up the channel section. So here where it says channels, just click it and it opens up whatever channels, a little plus here. And there are too many. Uh, and we are going to add a new channel. Wow, look at all that. This is why I don't like co-plugs that have got loads on them. It's just too much. Actually, I might just change an existing channel, but to add a channel, you just click, right click here and go add. And at the very bottom, a channel appears on the screen and right at the bottom, look. It'll be a blank channel. Where does it put it? There it is there. It's put it on channel 60 here. So you can just look at the name that it's already got and then look at the list. So I'm going to do it up at the top, actually, because I think it'll be easier. So I'm going to go to this existing channel just under where it says duplex, where I've already created one channel. So the first channel i created was called was digital then let's call this one uh duplex you know we're not going to do this one are we going to close this one there you go we're going to do this one double click and it opens up underneath where it says duplex so digital and we're going to call this one duplex as well we're going to call it duplex 91 for worldwide and i'm going to call it sl2 slot 2 then go over the frequencies you want for receive are 434.450 and go over to transmit 439.450 don't need to change anything you can put your location in if you want Color code one for a hotspot tends to be three for a, a repeater. And if you were doing a repeater near you, you would just put a different receive and transmit frequency. There's no CTCSS on DMR. There is color code. So you would need to go color code. And here we've just got one there. Repeater slot, I'm going to use two, I think, on that. And I've named it two here, haven't I? Uh, I do like talk alias. I've not really watched what that looks like, so I'm going to turn that on. Let's have a go. A talk alias TX. Oh, I see it. TX is your location. No, I'm not going to use that right now. <clears throat> so it transmits not just your, you know, your address, but your call sign and DMR number. So anyway, uh, duplex. We know it's duplex worldwide 91. We've select we've got to select here where it says contact. That's the talk group that it will transmit on. See this long list? I'll show you how to add to this list. We're looking for one called worldwide, and there it is there. Super important because remember DMR is all about numbers. It's almost like phone numbers. Your DMR number is your phone number, then the talk groups have their phone number. You have talk groups, but then you have private numbers which are individuals or commands so that's another channel created i'm going to show you how to create the contact then put that put these channels into a zone so see where it says contacts here we're going to click that plus and then go to digital contacts the yellow folder here and these all these are where you can tell each channel to transmit on and you do have to tell each one uh, talk group 9 isn't actually a talk group room. It's more of a link between your radio 
a hotspot or a repeater. It's like an invisible wire. And then once you're there, you can use what we call manual dial, which is you're always using talk group nine and you're transmitting by typing in a number of a talk group, transmitting, and when it transmits, you've told it to use that number, not talk group nine. I know it sounds complicated. And the slot one and slot two, just imagine that each channel is cut in half and you can use it two times. Yeah, and you're deciding, well, okay, I'm going to use slot one for this talk group, slot two for another talk group, and then they will both be piped through this dual hotspot at the same time, simultaneously. Obviously, your radio can only hear one at a time unless it's a dual DMR radio. There's only a few of them around. So anyway, to add a contact, you just click here, add. Now, I've added all the ones I want, but you just click add. Give it a name. So I'm going to call this one just eight. I'm just going to call it eight. But obviously, the na a name, um, select group, you know, not private. That's individuals. And then the number eight is the most important thing, and it won't let you do two at the same time. So when you go to save, it will say, sorry, we've already got number eight. So I just called it eight and eight, just for example, and then um, repeat a slot. Oh, yeah, let's do um, one. OK. Actually, I don't think you need to do this that bit. But we choose that in the thing. So close it and we just create talk group eight. So if we go back to uh, our channel. Let's find it. Du, du, du. Oh, let's get this length of this channel here. Find our duplex. 91 slot. Yeah, that's the one we just did. And if we wanted now, we could select 8. See it up there? 8. But we're not. We're doing 91. Because when we transmit, it will transmit on that. So that's good. So now we need to put it in a zone so we can find it. So what's the zone? It's the pot full of channels. And you put the channels into the pot after you've created them so then you'll go to zone click plus now these are all different zones that you can create so you can create your own pot so i can create one called duplex i can't see that there's one there already so we're going to go plus so right click where it says zones add and at the at the bottom here it now says zone change click on that and it opens up the window of your pot your zone and we can name it I'm going to call it duplex and then we're going to add the channels that we want to use see them here on the left into that pot now remember it will show every single channel ever created on this you know in this code plug so we've only created two so far we've got duplex TG9 which is the local we call it local because it's just between me you know the radio and the hotspot and then we've got duplex 91. So when you transmit on that channel, it's going to transmit on du on um, 91. So it's in a pot now. We can find it. So let's add a couple more. So go back looking for channels. And just keep practicing this. I've always said the best way to learn DMR isn't actually to program hundreds of channels. It's actually to program just one channel. Because once you program one channel, you are going to have an idea about how this all works. So there's channels there, and we're going to go down to this spec, this one here, and, and change it. The one that's 145300. And the process is, is identical for a new channel. So you go digital. Uh, we're going to call this one duplex hubnet. Duplex hubnet. Okay. And a bit, we always tell it what slot we're going to use so we don't forget. So we'll go slot one on that. Same, always the same frequencies if it's the same hotspot. So receive was 434.450. Now I know you think, cool, this is so complicated. And it, I actually think it is. And then 439 is the shift. Dot <coughs> 450. Right, color code one contact. This time we said we're going to do hubnet. Now, have we got hubnet in there? Yes, we have, which is 23526. So I just created a contact called hubnet, but the number is specific to that group. It's not a random number that you choose. 
23526 is the talk group number for HubNet. Okay, and definitely check it out. And we said we're going to put it on slot one. So there's slot one and color code one. I'm ignoring talk group list. So that's that. So to find it, we still need to put it into our zone, which stays on the screen, which is quite handy. Um, so then we're just going to go HubNet add. So we've added three channels. Okay. I actually recommend you add two TG9s um, because then you can have slot one and slot two, and then you can pick and choose what you want to connect. So let's have a look now. We've got HubNet and on slot one, we've got uh, Worldwide on slot two. So that should enable us to hear two at the set two coming through the hotspot at the same time. And then we're going to send that to the radio. They're all in the zone. We go program, write to radio. And it writes very quickly. Like so. Now, if you've not used this GD77, although it's very good, it still takes learning, you know. You still have to load. If you go to extras here, go to open GD77 support, you still have to load the satellites. So I just did by clicking install satellite caps. It's very quick. Yeah? You load the talking, you know, when the radio talks to you. You can back up here and do firmware here. But you also can load the entire database. So if you go extras, and I've already done mine. Let's close that a minute. Go extras, download call sign database. All you do is click download from. It imports it. Yeah, and then you send it to the radio and it will load the whole database. Remember, this is a 40 pound radio. So that's excellent. So the next thing is to select this on the actual radio so we can actually see if we can hear anything. So at the moment, we're not even on the right talk group number on the radio. You can see the Pi Star in the background. So I will now show you what those frequencies are. Move all this out of the way. Because they are in reverse. So hopefully you're a bit familiar with Pi Star. So I'm just moving everything out of the way. Yeah. So Pi Star. Go to configuration. Just here. Pi Star with a la with a flat line in the middle and Raspberry. R A S P B E R R Y. Then when you're duplex, you'd click these two blue dots here. DMR. Turn that on, just DMR. And then these are the frequencies which should be reversed. So 439450 and 434450 on transmit. So they're reversed on this page. Uh, otherwise, your normal hotspot settings don't change them because if you bought the duplex hotspot, you don't need to. You select Brandmeister, put your Brandmeister password in. I've made loads of videos on that. Just Google Brandmeister password. DMR numbers there. Da, 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 da. So that's all, you know, that's all ready. So now on the actual radio, if we select that zone now, we go menu. Look for the zone, goes press zone, and then go to the one called duplex. It's quite a long list. I think you'd probably put it at the bottom. Maybe I could have gone backwards. This is why I don't like co plugs that are overly packed. Right, selected it. So turn it up. If I unplug, we should get some audio as long as there's some transmission. TG9, let's go up. 91, slot 2. Turn it up. Look, Hubnet's already coming through. Um, let's just quickly key M zero FX B test. Right. Did I come up? As you key, it will connect itself to that talk group, but you need a gap. Of course, let's try again. Cause I've got, I've got, um, hubnet coming through there. See if we can hear hubnet. That's hubnet there coming through. We've got a station coming through there. Kilo Charlie 8, 
Kilo Charlie 8, Julia Echo Papa, M0 FXB. You can see my dashboard as well. Good morning. Name here is Rich uh, in Ohio. There you go. Look how good that is. Rich in Ohio. Yes, sir, my friend. You were actually uh, nice to meet you. My name is Amaru Junior. I'm in from Russia. And what you'll right? see. Uh, KCA, Yay, Box, Papa, PY7, Yay. Uh, so, uh, happy At the moment, we're on. We're listening to TG91, okay? Thank you. Over. See if I can get me in this shot. TG91. And then the idea is if we can. Go here, but it's right we go down so. to Hubnet, and that's on slot one. Now we need to make sure we're on a different slot if you want to transmit and connect Hubnet. Our key up, Hubnet will connect. You saw the dashboard there. We've got two, two red sections there showing now, and at the bottom here it says two three five two six. So now if we change to the Hubnet channel back to the Hubnet channel. When someone speaks on Hubnet, we will hear it. So unfortunately, you can't hear both at the same time, but you could have a DMR radio side by side, and then you would receive two at the same time. So there we've got my Anytone here, which is a lovely set for what they cost. You'll never get a better bargain than the Bofung 1701. That's the best bargain that's out there. Looks like I need to know and need to load the database because look, it's not showing. But let's see if we can get Hubnet to connect whilst that station's talking. See that? Even though he was talking, I was able to transmit because I'm using the other half of the channel. Uh, but it seems like Hubnet's quiet. Which is a shame. Let, let me see if I can activate Hubnet. Hubnet from here. If I get my control panel for my Hubnet node, click Hubnet. In theory, I should be able to talk on it. Let's just key up again. Just looking back at the dashboard. Yeah, Hubnet's quiet, which is a shame. Let's try again. M0 FXB test test. See the way that the DMR was coming through there, all the details. But yeah, Hubnet's quiet, which is a shame. Because I'd like to have seen both working. But anyway, you've got the frequencies. Oh. There goes Hubnet. Excellente. It says I'm garbled, but that's Hubnet. And then we've got Talk Group 91 on the other radio, all coming from one hotspot. And I'll put a link in for that hotspot, which is this one here. Bye for now, 73.